Well, today I wanna to talk about this guy right here, the DJI Spark Remote Controller. Now, if you're like me, you got your Spark and your remote and you read the manual just enough to pair the two devices and then you went out, started flying and didn't look back. Well, today I wanna to dig a little bit deeper into the remote and hopefully you're gonna learn at least one new thing. The first simple tip is if you press the power button once quickly, the LEDs will light up showing you the power level of the battery in your remote. And that's a really good thing to do before you head out flying. This beeping is telling me that I have left the remote powered up and untouched for five minutes. So I can wiggle the joysticks or press any button to silence the alarm. And if I just leave it alone for an additional minute, it will automatically power off. Unlike its bigger siblings, the DJI Spark uses a boosted Wi-Fi signal, not a radio signal for communication. And that makes it really crucial to orient the antennas correctly. Now, I think DJI did a really good bit of design with these antennas because when they're in the folded down position, it's really easy to get them set up correctly. All you have to do is take your finger and spin them up like that and you're done. So what you want is you want the flat surface of the antenna oriented towards your drone. So whether you're up in the air or the weather's right in front of you, you always wanna keep the flat surface towards your drone. You don't wanna do anything funky like crossing the antennas or turning them in or anything kind of weird like that. No, 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 that's no good. So flat surface towards the drone, you'll be in good shape and you'll have the best possible communication. There's a really cool feature on the Spark Remote called the Combination Stick Command. And that is used for starting or stopping the Spark's motors. Now, I'm all connected here. Everything is all powered up and ready to go. So to start the motors, all I need to do is pull both joysticks down towards the inner or outer corners. There you go. Now to stop the motors, it's the same command. Pull both joysticks down towards the inner or outer corners. Motors off, easy peasy. So rather than touching the screen to take to the skies, we can use the combination stick command and one other joystick movement to take off. So we'll start our motors first. And now to take off, all we need to do is press up on the left joystick and it will take to the skies. Simple. Now, if we wanna land it, it's just the reverse. We just pull down on the left joystick, hold the left joystick down, and it will come in for a landing. That was pretty smooth. So you keep holding down on the left joystick, it will land it, and it will shut off the motors. So there is one final thing we can do with a combination stick command, and that is called a mid-air CSC. So we are basically shutting down the motors like in the air, mid-flight. And that is, that is an absolute desperation move. Your, dro your drone is flying away, it's heading out to the ocean or an active volcano, and you have to stop it and you're, it's out of control and there's nothing else you can do. You can do that move. So what it, what it means is it means pulling down on the joysticks to the inner outer corners, holding them down there for 1.5 seconds and it will shut off the motors mid-flight. So let me see if I can get that to work. First attempt didn't work. So I tried a bunch of different times and I couldn't get the mid-air combination stick command to work. I couldn't get the motors to shut off mid-flight. Now, I was keeping the Spark really low to the ground because I, I it's all, the only drone I have and I don't want to kill it. Uh, so maybe maybe you have to be up a lot higher, I don't know. But, uh, or maybe it's a feature that they've, they've just um, deprecated. But anyhow, couldn't get that one to work, so I'm gonna leave a question mark beside that one for now. And uh, we'll move on to the next thing. So the final button that you may not have ever tried before, I actually haven't tried it, is the pause button. And what the pause does is it, it pauses your flight. So if you're flying manually, just pressing the pause button once applies emergency braking. So even if you're full throttle going forward, you hit the pause button and it overrides the joystick and it just breaks the spark. 
It also will kick you out of things like active track or return to home. So it can be a pretty handy button in the case of emergencies. Well, that's it. I hope you learned at least one new thing. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Whoa.